So over the last few months, we've done a number of modifications on this 2019 Honda Monkey to make it go a bit faster. But today, to balance that out, I'm gonna work on making the bike stop a bit faster. So I've got here from EBC Brakes, uh, the rear and front rotors that we're gonna replace. These are the V model rotors. Um, the rear is the VR1184, and the front rotor is the VR1183. So I'll just show you briefly what they look like, but they have the more wave design, lots of cutouts. Um, so we'll get this on the front. To put these on, we're gonna have to take off the wheels, of course. Uh, so we'll do the front first and then the rear. I'll show you what the rear rotor looks like. Which I'll show you them together. They both have the same design, the front just being a little bit larger than the rear. And then at the same time, we'll be installing the EBC Double H Sintered Brake Pads. Um, the front model is the FA375HH, and the rear is the... Put the information for both of these products in the description below. I don't have a proper motorcycle jack, so I'm just using a regular floor jack with a hockey puck underneath to uh, jack it up underneath the engine. Uh, but before I do that, I need to break the nut loose on the front bolt here. It's a 19 millimeter nut and then a 14 millimeter for the bolt. All right, so that seems stable enough for just a moment while we replace the rotor on the front wheel here. We'll get it back on, get it back up, and then do the same on the other side. Using six millimeter Allen key. All right, the Allen key doesn't seem strong enough. Let me try an electric impact wrench. Oh, that didn't seem to work. That broke off inside the tool. You can actually see how it twisted first before it ripped it off. Well, there's always bigger tools. So those were only supposed to be torqued to 31 foot-pounds. I'm not sure why they gave me that much trouble. Uh, we'll make sure that they're properly torqued going back in, but at least they're all loose now. I'll pull this off and get the new rotor on. Actually, now that the nuts are all the way out, there's quite a bit of Loctite on there, so I think that that's what was holding it on so tightly. Before I put it on, just to show that they are the same outer diameter, uh, pretty much exactly. And these are supposed to be torqued down to 31 foot-pounds. All right, so this wheel is ready to go back on the bike. All right, for the front pads, I believe it's just going to be this eight millimeter bolt that we're going to remove. And it goes through, so here are the new pads, the hole down there at the bottom, I think, is all that's retaining it. At the top is just a, a C-type clip. So I believe once we remove that bolt that the front pads will slip out and we can just slip these new ones in. All right, so here's the pin that holds the uh, brake pads in. And then here you can see that they just come out. All right, so I have the bolt started. Uh, there's a little bit of spring tension that you need to uh, push the pads backwards a little bit to get them to line up with the pin. But once you do, uh, you, you get it started. And then using the eight millimeter wrench, uh, go ahead and just uh, wrench it back in to have them secure. And then we'll slip the wheel back on. The torque for this pin is 13 foot pounds.
All right, the front bolt gets torqued down to 40 foot-pounds. All right, front wheel is finished. We're gonna move to the back. All right, so we're gonna do the same with the rear. Pulling it off is 19 millimeters for the nut, 14 millimeter ratchet for the bolt. The brake calipers uh, actually use the same bolt here to hold the entire assembly up. There's this slotted mechanism right here that slots into a piece here to keep it level. But the only brake holding this, the only bolt holding this caliper on is the uh, axle that goes through. So same thing here. Um, this one actually has a little rubber cover, and it's an Allen key. I think that's a size four that we need to spin out to release the brake pads. So we'll do that first, and then we'll take off and replace the disc on the rear wheel. With a pin out, these just both slide out. This one has this little metal cap on it. Looks like it comes off. If it fits on the new one, I'll pop it on. Uh, the fronts didn't seem to have that. So again, here are the rear brakes, the FA629HH. All right, so unfortunately, it looks like the brakes that I ordered, I assumed it was the same as the Grom, Apparently not though, uh, because if you look at if you look at the pieces that I pulled off, uh, they look very similar. It fits on almost identically, except for this part here um, is flat, and the one for the monkey comes out straight. Uh, similarly for this other piece, the loop here looks pretty similar. The brake pad surface area is the same, but it has this U-shaped connector like the front pads do, although this is different than the front. So. I need to figure out which one I need to actually buy, uh, return this, and um, get the right ones on. While I figure out the brake pads, let's get this rotor swapped out. This time I won't even try the Allen key first, I'll just go straight to the air wrench. Here's the old one, here's the new one. Like the fronts, the diameter is exactly the same, just with the more cut out V-shape. Uh, the rears also have this cut out for the bolt head, uh, both the new one and the old ones do. The front one actually doesn't, it was just flat. The disc bolts get torqued down to 31 foot-pounds. All right, so this is ready to go back on the bike. I just need, I just now need to figure out the correct brake pads to put it all back together. So I may just leave the bike up here on the stand until I get the brake pad situation figured out. I had ordered these pads just based off of the Grom sizing, assuming they were the same. But again, you can see they're very close, but not quite the same. So I do have a concern that maybe EBC doesn't make a brake specific for the monkey. But anyway, I'll do some research and through the magic of editing, it'll seem like no time at all. All right, so let's finish this project up. It's been a few days, but I now have the correct rear brake pad for the 2019 Honda Monkey. It's for EBC, the FA343HH. I'll put all of the correct parts that I use on this bike in the description below if anybody's looking to do the same. So it turns out the Honda Monkey uses the same rear brake as the uh, Honda CBR125R. 
I think that's a bike that wasn't sold in the United States, but probably Asia and other places. Um, but so the front brake pad and disc are the same as the Grom. The rear disc is the same as the Grom, but the rear pads are off of a CBR 125. So anyway, make note of that if you're doing the rear brake pad change. So popping, the zine, popping these in should be pretty straightforward. It's just a matter of slotting them into the caliper and putting the bolt through and then putting everything back together. I'm not sure whether or not I'm supposed to, but I'm putting back on the OEM metal piece that came off of the original uh, brake caliper. It fits exactly the same, and you can see half of the mark from where the piston uh, puts pressure onto the pad itself. So you can see here how this side of the caliper has a half circle that hangs on to uh, this mount here, and then both of the bottom sides uh, are connected with this one pin that goes all the way through. This bolt gets torqued down to 13 foot pounds. All right, and so now we just need to throw the rear wheel on, get the chain on, uh, and the main bolt back in, and we should be finished. All right, I think I'm gonna actually have to back uh, these forward to get enough tension off of the chain to get the bolt through. So I'm gonna push these up a bit, and then I'll have to readjust to get the proper, taint, to get the proper chain tension. So make sure that you get the spacer on the left side. The uh, bigger part of the diameter goes into the hub. All right, so before I tighten down the main bolt, I'm just making adjustments here to make sure that I have the right amount of chain deflection. There's little timing marks uh, on the rear dropouts here and then notches within the mechanism that moves back and forth so that you can make sure that you have the right on both sides so that the wheel is straight. So and finally back on this side, uh, there's also this little rubber grommet that goes over the uh, Allen key that holds the bottom rear uh, brake pad. So make sure that you get that placed back in. I think it's just a dust cover. And then just to secure the main bolt, uh, this is torqued down at 44 foot-pounds. I think the front was 40 and the rear is 44. Double check the chain deflection is still where you wanted it to be. All right, so that was a pretty easy process. Uh, it took a, lo a little bit longer than I expected just because I had to wait for parts, but hopefully you guys are able to learn from my mistake there on uh, which brake rotors work with this 2019 Honda Monkey. In the time that I was waiting for those uh, brake pads to arrive, I also got a nice um, bike stand. It actually, it's pretty neat. It has rubber pads on one side um, and you can flip it around then to have uh, support for regular spindles so I can also use it on my 2019 ZX6R. So uh, no longer having to use the jack with a piece of wood and that kind of janky setup to get the bike up. This is nice and stable and really easy to do. Uh, EBC actually says for these pads that I'm supposed to take it easy for the first 300 miles, which is quite a long ways, seeing that I only have six or 700 miles on the bike right now. Um, and then after that, then I do the bedding in process where you go from like 60 to 20, six or seven times quickly to really transfer the material from the pads onto the rotor. So uh, I'll go ahead and see what it's like uh, now and then keep you guys posted as I actually go through the real bedding process. All right, thanks for watching guys.